What is going on, everybody? This is David here from Blucher's Videos and Collectibles. And today, I've got another toy review from you guys and gals. And this time, it is on the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage Gally Miners. And if you haven't watched my last video, go check it out. It's an awesome mail call. And this was given to me, or was traded, I made a trade with my boy Kevin McDonald from Coffee from the Cynic. And if you haven't checked out his channel, please check out his channel. I will leave his description in the link below. And that way you can check out all the awesome content that he has put on here on his channel. And there's movie 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 reviews, uh, tour reviews, and there's customs, things like that, and that nature. So if you're interested in any Jurassic Park related items, customs and toy reviews, check out his channel. And if you're a big movie fanatic like he is, and if you want unbiased opinions on certain films that he sees, check out his channel as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. And uh, like as always, we'll go over the packaging, we'll go over the figure, and then we'll do measurements, size comparisons, and then we'll do a collection update. Okay, so we we'll start off the packaging first, and as y'all know, this is a Kate style packaging that I love so much, and it's just a great concept of Mattel, and I always rave about it every time I do my reviews, because it's just it fits the uh, the movie theme, and as to what the movie is about, and I just think it's a great concept of how they do their packaging. It's Kate style packaging. It looks like it's captured the dinosaurs and everything so just it's just a wonderful packaging design through Mattel so on the top left hand corner we got Jurassic Park right here or Jurassic World excuse me uh, logo right here and then we have the, the cage right here all the way around here at the bottom and then we have Owen in blue and then we have Galley Minus then we have ages 3 and up that's me and then we have Battle Damage right here and we have all the red markings of the battle damage throughout the cage, like the dinosaurs trying to escape. And then on the, <clears throat> the inside of the packaging, we have a picture of Mount Saibo erupting with all the volcanic ash falling down the mountain and the uh, forest down here and the lava right here. And then we got the, the orangish, yellowish uh, sky right here from the uh, eruption. And then we have it all the way down here at the bottom. So it's great for Mattel to be able to include all the uh, background all the way on the inside of the packaging. I think that is awesome. Great job, Mattel. And then on the side of the packaging, we still have some more of that uh, lava volcanic ash. And then we have Jurassic World right here. And then we have some more scratch marks all over the uh, cage in the background, or the yeah, cage right here on the side. And then we have Jurassic World on the top. Still got the sunset, the orangish, reddish uh, uh, sky right there. And um, bottom of the packaging, we have all the copyright dates of the Universal logo and Mattel. So if you're interested in obtaining this figure, here is the code, the barcode right here. And um, on this side of the packaging, still got the Jurassic World logo. We've got some more scratch marks right here. <clears throat> and on the back of the package, we have this wonderful prototype artwork right here with the Galley Miners. Then on the top right here, we have the Jurassic World Facts app info. And then right here, we have Jurassic World logo on the top left hand corner. And then down here, activate. Battle damage. And then it has a little picture with the uh, battle damage how you operate it. We have Gally Mimus. And then right here, this gives you information about the dinosaur. It says one dinosaur included, other dinosaurs so separately, separately, subject to availability. Colors and decorations may vary. And then down here, we have some dinosaurs from wave one <clears throat> you got blue triceratops sticky moloch and the herrerasaurs and here is some warning labels very cool 
So that will do it for the package review. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dinosaur. And here is the Gallimimus. Start off, I think this is a wonderful sculpt. Much better than the um, Attack Pack Assortment Galley. I think, in my opinion, this is probably the better one. I know that there is another one that's coming out for the Legacy Collection. It has the uh, the running uh, uh, action feature. So that should be another one to look forward to. And uh, I really think this is a very good sculpt, you know. Much better than the Attack Pack one that's like in a crouching running position. Um, I do have that. I just haven't opened it and reviewed it. So hopefully one day, eventually, I'll get through it all. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I think this is great. I think the tail, no, well, I think the tail's in good length. I think maybe it could have been a little longer, maybe. But um, <clears throat> yeah, normally these battle damage uh, dinosaurs and attack pack dinosaurs, they make their tails a little shorter so they can fit in the packaging. Um, it is what it is, but a great sculpt overall. Love the head sculpt right here. I think that's a dandy. And the coloring, you know, got this kind of uh, pumpkinish color, orange color to it. I think pumpkinish. That's a word. I don't know, but um, just it's just the way the color looks to me in my eyes and on camera and in person. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a great fit. Great coloring. It's a little darker than what you see in the original Jurassic Park film. That one's a little lighter. That color is a little bit lighter. But uh, this one is a nice color scheme. And I like the brown striping on the back. It's all the way down. The good thing about it is, is that it starts here on the neck. And it goes all the way down to the back right here. And it ends right here, which sucks because you know you want to you want it to continue right there, but it goes all the way down to right here on the tail, which it should have just continued. But I think it's neat how they was able to do it all the way around here, around the whole tail, the whole the whole tail, not the hotel. <laughs> uh, but what's great about it is, is that they was able to include uh, the paint into the uh, battle damage wound, and able to get all the way right here. So that's a good thing. Wish they could have just been able to just be able to finish it out throughout the leg all the way through here. That would be that would have been great, you know. And then at the bottom we have the light um, nail color right here. And it's just like only red right here though. That's the only thing. It's only at the belly from here all the way to here. It should be like at least kind of halfway on the neck and all the way down here, I think. Which is cool that they did this with the wraparound, but <clears throat> I would have rather them have this all, all the way down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sounds like I got a frog in my throat. But anyways, so here is the... Jurassic Park logo. You can barely see her. There, there we go. And then here is the uh, fax app thing. So it looks like they wasn't able to put the sticker on all the way. So if you're interested in that, there you go. So I don't think, there we go. That should be about. Should be a lot better right there. Okay. So let's go through the articulation. So. The legs are a little stiff right here. You can barely get them to move. But yeah, finally was able to move this one. It's stiff as hell. But you can go all the way forwards and backwards. But it's really stiff. At least mine is. But that's okay because it's in the position where it's supposed to be at. I don't know if you want to ever put it into a different one. But yeah, we're finally able to get this, so I had to loosen it up a little bit. So, but it goes all the way up there. It's about as far as you're going to get, because it's going to get in the way of that right there. But then on the way back, and I'm sure you can go all the way back even more, but why force it when you, it's already stiff as it is already. So, 
but I do like the stance of it. I think the stance is great. And then as far as the uh, the arms go, they get that rubbery feel, and uh, you go in and out. They're on a swivel, on a ball right here, and then so in and out. Yeah. And then in and out on the ball, up and down, all the way around. So I like how they have the stance right here. I think that's a great stance. And then as far as the head goes, the head can move up and down like it's eating, like it's eating grass or something. So, but that's about it. That's all I can do. So <clears throat> and then to activate the battle damage, you know, just push it in and it rolls out like that. Uh, I always felt like they could have done a little better job on the actual damage part right here. That way you can actually see a little bit of ribs or something like that instead of one solid red white flesh. But, oh well. Uh, but yeah. So just push it in, it rolls out, and then you can just flip it back up and clicks. The only thing I don't like about these things is that it has that little nudge right there. Um, I felt like it could have had a better look if it had a clip to it. But <clears throat> overall, you know, it's still good. And... And then when you roll up, it, it moves out. So in, out. So, yeah. Very cool. Very nice. But overall, I like this figure. I love it. You know, I think this is a great figure. This would be good for army building if that's what you do. So, very great. Very awesome. Great sculpt. Nice paint scheme. Could have done a little bit better with it, but overall... It's very nice. I really like it a lot. And um, as a matter of fact, actually kind of looking at it now, I know when I said earlier it got that little uh, pumpkinish orange. It's more of like a, a light brown color, should I say. Maybe it was just the lighting or my eyes were playing tricks on me. But now actually, actually looking at it now, I think it's more of a light brown color. But... What do y'all think? Think it's a little pumpkinish color, or, or just me being blind, or do you think it's a light brown color? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. We all got different opinions on this thing and what the color is, but uh, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. But uh, anyways, so let's go ahead and take some measurements. Overall, I think she stands great. So. Let's see how long she is. So this thing from the tip of the tail to the beak, it's about six and a half inches. And then it is probably about four inches in height. So. Okay, so while I don't have the Series 2 Galley Mimas from the original Jurassic Park toy line, but I do have the Legacy Collection Alan Grant to compare it to. So I think it's pretty in scale with it. What do y'all think? So I think it's uh, pretty, pretty well done. So let's go ahead and do a collection update. Alright, first off on the collection update for the battle damage line, I do have wave one and as you can tell I do have four of them that are still in box and one that's uh, unboxed and that is because I did the review for the battle damage Pachycephalosaurus. So I will eventually get to the Triceratops, Blue, Stiggy, and the Herrerasaurus. But, uh, but yeah, those are the ones that I have so far. When it comes to wave one, that is complete set. So eventually I will get to the reviews for the other four. So if you want to check out the review that I did on the Pachycephalosaurus, check it out. I'll leave it in the link in the description below so you can check that out. And up next we do have the Battle Damage 2-pack with the Battle Damage T-Rex and the Monolophosaurus. Uh, this set was my very first Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom tour review, so if you want to check that one out, check it out, and um, I will leave the description in that below as well, and uh, I got one more piece to show y'all before we wrap up this video.
And the final piece to my battle damage collection is the Super Colossal Roaring T-Rex. So this is a very awesome piece. I uh, would grab them where you can because they're about to run out pretty soon. And I think that if they do restock any, they probably will later on for the holiday season. But they are going fast, so pick one up while you can at Walmart for 50 bucks. And just want to take your time and thank everybody for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, comment down below what you think of this uh, Battle Damage Galley Mimas. What you think of the whole Battle Damage toy line. And if you are going to be getting this when it comes available in y'all's area, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please give this channel a sub. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all my videos that I upload. And don't forget to like the video, share the video if you would like. And words of wisdom, buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I'll catch y'all later.